What's up, my people? How you doing? What you doing? How you doing? Welcome back to Life is Real, my people. My name is Stephanie Fluella, and welcome back to Life is Real, my people. Life is so real that sometimes you get picked. Listen, sometimes you get picked to be cheated on, to be abused, to be gaslighted from the naughtiest, my people. Real Talk on Life is Real. My name is Stephanie Fluellen. I was picked to be the naughtiest play toy. <laughs> you hear me? I was picked to be the naughtiest play toy. You know how you got this cheating out here in the world? You got the naughtiest out here in the world. They cheat on you on purpose to make them feel good. So you... They feel good when they cheating and, and, and keeping secrets and <laughs> some toxic ass shit. <laughs> they feel good when they keeping secrets from you and they playing like they going here, but they hiding to go see other place that, that, that builds them up. And they are so sad about people. That's why the nineties always called me sad because he know he was sad all the time. My people, the nineties pick you and do that shit to you on purpose. You got to wake up. You got to fight God in your life so God could tell you and teach you and show you who naughties are and what they do. They gaslight you. They wanna, they have four and five partners, my people. I'm telling you, fuck with them naughties, you'll end up with a disease and God gonna really have to rebuke it out of you. Thank God, God bless me. You hear me? And, and, and I remember when I used to go to the doctor, you know, because I was, I was thinking, I wasn't thinking about cheating and shit when I was coming up. When you hear me, I wasn't thinking about no cheating and stuff. And when I used to go to the doctor, he used to say I had some like an infection and stuff. That was from him fucking off with his old girlfriends and shit. You hear me? I'm telling them naughty something else, my people. You ain't gonna never know what they doing because they ain't gonna be honest with you. They gonna tell you one thing to make you think they being honest, but in reality, they just lying and sneaking and cheating. Lying, sneaking, and cheating for 22 years. He lied, sneaked, and cheated for 22 years. God didn't wake me up to this for shit. God woke me up because he was the fucking devil. You hear me? Yeah, I better wake the fuck up and listen. I'm saying they, they use you to do that on purpose to make themselves feel good. You see, the, you see the nice mad, the devil hear me, you hear me? Uh-huh. My people, they do this on purpose. And I had got up to a point where I didn't even give a fuck no more, you hear me? I didn't even give a fuck no more. I was like, nigga go out and stay all night, he come home, breakfast on the table, huh? You ain't heard me, nigga. After a while, I'll be gone anyway. You hear me? You got to plan your getaway. <clears throat> you got to plan your getaway. Don't tell them nothing. You start pulling from them. You can't tell them nothing. That's why he always want to know my business and my family business so he can use them against me. You hear me? Real talk. He going to use. He, that's why they always want to know all your business and your personal business. And make you do things so they can use it against you. You hear me? That's why you got to go to Jesus so he can help you, so he can realize who you with. So he can realize who you with. Because these men and women out here, they are put out here to do this shit to us. If you good and believe in God and and you give, share, care, and you, got, and you don't want you don't be trying to be out here being toxic and messing and cheating and stuff. That's dumb naughty is going to pick you to hurt you so you could be turned to a naughtiest like them. They want you to turn to a naughtiest, my people. Y'all better wake up, wake up, wake up. It is so real in the field. I'm telling you that naughties, they picked me because they knew I was sweet and kind. I'm telling them naughties know who they pick. They, they know who they pick. And then they pick someone who's going to be at home doing good, paying the bills, um, take care of the kids right, while they be out here bullshitting my people. The knowledge ain't nothing but bullshitters. All they want to do is keep you in the house 
why they go out and form around with everybody so they can always come back to you because you they 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 main joy you the one give them the more happiness but they want you to be at home while they go out and play in the field <laughs> my people it is a sad it's sad but it's true my people these people something else around him these people are something else yeah they play like they like you but they don't like you they are stealing killing and destroying your name making everybody think you the bad one when they the good one i'm telling you be not just something else my people you gotta bring god in your life so he could help you so he could give you that wisdom. He gonna send people to tell you the, the stories about the matrix. I'm telling you, when I first woke up, I was at, I was, when I first woke up to this, when I saw, it was a, it was an old white man. I forgot his name, but he the one show gave me the story of how the naughtiest do my people. I'm telling you, you gotta come to Jesus and to God and God gonna send you people in your life to educate you on the naughtiest my people. When I realized that I was with a naughtiest man, I must have started pulling away like, like, so fast. You hear me? I started pulling away so fast. And then I used to be when it when it and when I started when I realized that now and I went to you know they say when you go through your spiritual awakening you'll go to heaven and you go to hell. You go on a little trip. I went on them trips, with my people. And when I realized I was with that naughtiest, man, 10 o'clock, I was in the house. I didn't go out before I was in the house when it got dark 10. And then I didn't go out to 11 or 12, because that's when they come back in. You hear me? I'm telling that night, you stay out all night. Come back in the morning. Then when he know you getting sick of him and tired of him, he going to lay up in the house for three, four days. Then he going to go back out and do that same cycle again, my people. I'm saying they just, they just play mind games. They like to find somebody who good to take their bullshit. Because you feel that you, they tell you they sob story about their life and you feel guilty for them. You feel sadness for him and you be want to be willing to make his life better but he only there to kill steal and destroy your life real talk my people these naughtiest men and women are crazy they work for the devil they only here to kill steal and destroy you to take you through crime to take you through misery to make you think about all the time then they stay out all night then they come back and they want to uh have sex with you three four times to wear you out so you won't want to do nothing try to make you don't want nobody because they gonna want somebody all the time you hear me they never want to be with one person so if you would have nods i advise you to get away you hear me those the devil people my people real talk not as our devil people they don't believe in people being true and faithful and honest real talk because i saw i saw it through my mom my dad my you know my peoples they always got the cheap my dad he was doing he was coming back and forth to my mom so that let you know he was a naughty he had a wife at home but he kept coming back and forth to my mom playing like he want to see me but really didn't want to see me just wanted to go back to his supply that was my mom real talk my people because he knew Brun his his wife was good at home and stuff i'm telling you, that's what they do they always whoever they mess with and say that you meet somebody whoever he had in the past before you he gonna always go back to them when he had, when he fight with you at home, he going back to his supply, my people. Real talk on life, for real. He think he abused me and hurt me. Hell no, because God got real love for me. You hear me? He'll see it sooner or later. You hear me? Maybe it's not meant for him to see it. Maybe it will be meant for him to see it. But my people, get them naughties out your life because they only want to do is take you through hell. Take you through hell, gaslight you, hit on you, abuse you call y'all out your name man my people y'all better wake up to these men and women out here doing all this messy crazy shit they don't love you they don't love themselves you hear me 
But you got to bring God in your life so he can help you and he gonna show you. I love y'all. I see y'all on my next episode. Do say.